Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the 14th graduation ceremony of the officer cadets from the Ahmed Al Fatih Brigade at the Isa Royal Military College was held. His Majesty deputized the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, to patronize the ceremony, who was received by the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, along with the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi. The BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Via bin Sagr Naimi and the Under Secretary of the Defense Ministry Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The national anthem was played. Then the Commander-in-Chief inspected the military parade of the graduates' verses from the Holy Qur'an were recited before the military parade of the graduates began. Assalamu alaikum. Mir tabor al-arab say. After that, the Isa Royal Military College Commandant Major General Abdurrahman Khalifa Naimi delivered a speech. Sayyidi Sahib al Ma'arib, I would do for the day and I take them because of Shukri, while I am in Tinani, Ilal Makam Sami, the Sayyidi Hadrat Sahib al Jalala, 
الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه على رعايته الكريمة السامية لاحتفالنا هذا اليوم ويسرني أن أرحب بمعاليكم حفظكم الله أجمل ترحيب في كلية عيسى العسكرية الملكية هذا الصرح التعليمي الشامخ مصنع الرجال وميدان الشرف والتضحية في حفل تخريج دورة مرشحي الضباط الدفعة الرابعة عشر سرية أحمد الفاتح أقب ذكرك يا عظيم المكانة Then Cadet Officer Ali Abdullah Al-Marri recited a poem on the occasion عز الرفيق المستجير بيرق نساد المعالي على منظورها حاكم البحرين عز الرفيق المستجير بيرق نساد المعالي على منظور هذاك بو سلمان تيزوم هلا جنذير نسلقوا من بالنوايب تشوفوا كورها عادته يقدم على الصعب وشيل الكبير جعل يبطي عمره بخيرها وسفورها واذكر اللي بالذكر كانه السيف الشطير شيخنا سلمان ضد العدا بعقورها الامير الوافي الضافي القرم الخبير ضعي الطوله بعيسى عديم صقورها صحته ازعيمنا عندنا كنز نفير جعل عمره يلزم العافيه وطهورها والفرايد في معاليك تزهي المشير ويستعد بحضرتك سيدي طابورها جيشنا لا در صم الرحات المستدير يطحن حبوب الرحالة وشديد دورها ما عليه خلاص ما دامها بشور المشير قايد قاد الجوش وتعلى سورها يتفضل سيدي صاحب المعالي القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين حفظه الله. The commander in chief was briefed on the 14th cadet officer session and then honored the top achieving graduates. مرشح ضابط عبد العزيز مشعل جابر آل خليفة. الحائز على المركز الثاني وقائد طابور العرض مرشح ضابط عبد الله ناصر عبد الله آل بن علي الحائز على المركز الثالث مرشح ضابط عيسى عبد الله عيسى بوبشير الحائز على المركز الاول على الدول الشقيقه مرشح ضابط علي خالد عبد الله الكرشمي من الجمهورية اليمنية الشقيقة. الحائز على جائزة الضبط والربط العسكري. مرشح ضابط حمد جمال سالم نرويجح الحائز على جائزة اللياقة البدنية مرشح ضابط جاسم سلمان جاسم الرميحي الحائز على جائزة الرماية مرشح ضابط علي أيمن علي البعنين
يمنح نوطي التميز للحائز على المركز الأول في الدورة مرشح ضابط عبد العزيز مشعل جابر آل خليفة سيدي صاحب المعالي يتشرف آمر كلية عيسى العسكرية الملكية بتقديم هدية تذكارية إلى معاليكم حفظكم الله At the conclusion of the ceremony, a commemorative gift was given to the BDF Commander-in-Chief by the head of the military college, which was followed by the delivering of the banner of the college from the graduating brigade to the 15th cohort of the Qadisiya Brigade. <laughs> حتى آخر غطرة في دمانا أقسم بالله العظيم Then the graduates undertook the legal oath أقسم بالله العظيم باعتباري عسكريا في قوة الدفاع أن أكون وفيا لمملكة البحرين أمينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها القائد الأعلى الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي منفذا لها في البر والجو والبحر داخل وخارج المملكة وأن أضع نفسي وقدراتي في خدمة المملكة وأن أحمي علمها وأحفظ أمنها واستقلالها وسلامة أراضيها معاديا من يعاديها مسالما من يسالمها محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي لا أتركه حتى أذوق الموت والله على ما أقول شهيد Then the BDF Commander-in-Chief delivered the Diplomas in Military Sciences to the graduates to mark the occasion. The BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keen interest in the BDF and his constant support. He congratulated the graduates and said that their education will be their weapons as they carry on, especially through advanced and specialized training programs which are designed to develop their skills and to help them in fulfilling their national duties. He then welcomed the attendees from Yemen and wished them further success. He thanked all of the affiliates of the college for their hard and productive work. The BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed the great national role the BDF occupies through which it maintains battle readiness and high morale in order to defend the country and added that it represents the cornerstone of peace, security and stability under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed his appreciation for the efforts of all of the BDF affiliates on all levels and in all fields and for their great sacrifices for God, His Majesty the King and the country. The ceremony was attended by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin 
bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the head of His Majesty the King's Military Office, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the President of the National Security Agency, Lieutenant General Adil bin Khalifa Al Fadl, the Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramehi, the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, the National Guard Staff Director, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, along with a number of ambassadors, military attaches of friendly countries, and officers and officials from the kingdom. <coughs> In line with the royal directives to the relevant parties in the kingdom to compensate the fishermen who have been affected by the procedures of the Qatari authorities, along with a cabinet decision and meeting chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and a directive by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Coast Guard received the accounts of the incident from the fishermen. These accounts included the damages that the fishermen have sustained after they had, they had lost their boats and were suspended by the Qatari authorities for extended periods of time. The Ministry of Education, the Sustainable Energy Authority, the Economic Development Board, the Japanese company GHS and the Bahraini company Ibshir signed an agreement to generate power for three government schools and the Bahrain Training Institute as part of the government's directives to make use of sustainable energy. The signing of the agreement was held virtually and was attended by the Minister of Education, Majid al Naimi, and the President of the Sustainable Energy Agency, Abdul Hussein Mirza. The agreement covers the first phase of of the experience, which includes eight government schools in addition to the Bahrain Training Institute. In his opening remarks, Dr. Mirza expressed thanks and appreciation for the support that the Sustainable Energy Authority enjoys. He praised the efforts of the Minister of Education to adopt projects that have to do with renewable energy in governmental institutions and their buildings, which he said represents a part of the Kingdom's efforts to achieve its national objectives as per the government plan and the Comprehensive Development Plan. For his part, the Minister of Education praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keen interest in developing sustainable sources of energy in accordance with the national strategy to increase the efficiency of energy usage.